Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at using the Flash F component to apply reflections to animated objects. Now these are reflections that are not just a static reflection that is being applied to that animated object. This is a reflection that follows that animated object, that grows as that animation grows, that builds and moves all while that animation moves. It's very easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it to both an animation that you have packaged in a movie clip or if you have an animation that's just a tween on your main timeline and you don't have it packaged up in a symbol, how to do that as well. So let's take a look at this. We're going to start here and actually if I just preview the movie, go to control test movie, you're going to see that I have an animated logo here that's hidden. Now the first thing you're going to notice is how slow and sluggish that looked, which is a reminder to come in here to your frame rate and change that to 30 frames per second. Again, 30 frames per second, you get nice smooth flowing animations. It's going to be very important and when you use this flash up component, you, that you make these animations smooth. Otherwise, it really does not look good. It looks very choppy and uh, not very good. So this is an ActionScript 3.0 component, so you need Flash CS3 or better to use it. So with that in mind, let's just quickly apply a reflection to this movie clip, which you cannot see right now. It's very, very easy. Go Window. Components to open your components panel. Drag the Flash F component out and drop it onto that movie clip. Now it doesn't look like our Flash F component snapped to the corner of that movie clip, but it did in fact snap. And just select that Flash F component, go Window, Other Panels, the Flash F panel, which is right here. You may have to log in and then make sure you select that Flash F component. And I'm going to go to the Filters tab. And the pattern I want to use is the FEF reflection. Now, if you have the premium version of this component, you also have the FEF water reflection, which is basically an animated version of the reflection reflection. Choose the reflection. And we're going to set the distance to about 10. And the reflection alpha can stay at 0.5. Reflection drop off percentage, I want to reduce this to about 70. That is simply at what point would you like the reflection to be completely disappeared. And I want it to be completely disappeared about 70% of the way down. And that's about it. Let's go control test movie and check it out. Look at that. You can see it builds with our logo. Now I may want to increase the drop off percentage there because you can really still see the top of the logo and I don't really want it to look like a complete mirror but rather just a nice reflection on the shiny surface. Okay, and actually if I get rid of all these excess frames, remove frames, we can see that it'll just create and stay. And there you go, a very nice little reflection on an animated object. Now, what if we have an object that's just animated up here on our timeline? This is where I'm going to create about 60 frames, it doesn't really matter, this is just for creating an animation. I'm going to uh, insert a frame. So we have 60 frames, create a new layer, lock up the content layer or the layer with the other animated object on it and go to layer 11 there which it is in this case and we're going to rename this just box. And I'm going to grab the rectangle primitive tool that's hiding underneath the rectangle tool, rectangle primitive. And I'm just going to draw a nice little rounded rectangle bar type thing just like that and just going to go modify convert to symbol so we can animate it. I'm going to name MC underscore bar. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this keyframe, hold down my Alt, that'd be Option if you're on the Mac, and drag this keyframe all the way out and drop it on frame 60. So I now have two keyframes. The second keyframe I'm just going to drag across my screen to there and drop it. So this keyframe is here, this keyframe is here. Right click in between the middle and just hit Create Motion Tween to create the tween and select anywhere in the middle of this tween and I'm going to open up my properties panel all the way and I'm going to choose Rotate and I'm just going to select Clockwise and let's say three times. So let's just test the movie again to see what we've just done. Control Test Movie. You can see we now have this bar flipping across the screen just like that. Very nice. Now I want to apply a reflection to this animation. How do I do that? Well, it's a little bit more tricky and you can't actually just apply it to this tween because you cannot have more than one object on a layer that is being tweened. Now you may think, hey, well I could just take the Flash F component, give this guy an instance name and tell that Flash F component, hey, target, you know, the instance name of, you know, flying box, for instance. But you can't really do that either. So here's what we have to do. We're going to select this entire tween, click over the whole entire thing. I'm going to right click and hit cut frames. Cut that off of our main timeline. We're going to go insert new symbol. So this is a new blank symbol that we are creating. I'm going to name this MC 
underscore flying box. And in here, I'm going to right click on this timeline, just right click and hit paste frames. So there we go. We now have this flying box in its own symbol. We're going to select scene one to go back to scene one. Okay. Here's our stage. And we can now see that the box layer has nothing on it. But if we check our library, we have this new symbol called MC Flying Box. I'm going to drop that on the stage, right about there. Now, let's preview our movie and see what happens. Look at that. We still have the animation, but now it is inside of its own symbol. Well, guess what that means? That means we can go back to our library and drag out the Flash F component, because we've already dragged it in using the components panel. It goes into our library. Drag it, drop it onto that bar. And I'm just going to set this up really quickly. Other panels, Flash F panel, Reflection, onto the Filters panel. Choose the Reflection pattern right there. Now, there are a couple things we want to keep in mind here. For one, it's going to appear kind of funky because we have the Reflections margin set as 10. So what's going to happen is it's going to get about 10 pixels off the edge of where this button is right now, and then the reflection is going to disappear. We're not going to fix that right now, but I, I want you to see what happens. We're going to test the movie. That's Control-Enter. If you're on the Mac, it'll be Command-Return. See how the reflection just appears to be cut right off? That's no good. So what we need to do is select this. And we'll also just check to see how big the button is. And this button is 119 pixels across. So I'm going to set this reflection to the reflection distance to about 125 pixels. And the reflection alpha can go to maybe 0 0.6. The reflection margin, I'm going to make this really big, maybe about 500. So we get a good 500 pixels this way that the reflection can travel. That should be plenty for us. And the reflection drop off percent, I want this to be reduced to around 50. OK, let's test the movie now. Control Enter, Command Return. And we don't really see much of anything. It's hard to see it. It is down there. I'm going to increase the alpha and the amount that you can see. Increase the alpha a little bit, as well as the drop-off percentage. We're going to move that up to about 75%. Maybe even increase the reflection distance. Well, you can see the max there is 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these guys. And I'm just going to lower them a little bit. Now let's check it out. And you can see the reflection flipping right along with the animation, just like so. So that is how you apply your reflection to an animated object, animated object that has already been packaged into a movie clip, or if you just have it sitting there on the timeline, how you actually take it and package it up yourself. Very easy to do, very simple, and a very, very effective and quick way to create a nice little reflection for virtually anything in Flash. So I hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.